Blub blub everyone, welcome to X Beyond the Frontier, or welcome back, I should say. We are about to reach Chin's Clouds after this gate. And um, as you can see in the lower right, somewhat lower right, middle right, at, uh, at the symbol with the rockets, we have the Hornet, which is the biggest rocket available system, on the Jim's market clouds. for anyone even for the military even they don't have better rockets i think um so we can use this now to kill the one asteroid um of which i don't know the location anymore which is amazing huh do we really only have one mine in here Really? I didn't put a... Oh, that must be only a silicon mine then. I hope you did get some profits going. Should be, because this... No, that was mine. Oh, damn. The freighter was, was mine. And I think I misinterpreted this game, or the, the freighters in this on. game, silicon and they only, they only get resources to you, but not from your facility. It's fine. Connection I have one to, to spare to then, but... Established. Yeah, that's... not good. Why do you have so few... what? Huh. You can specify at which price other factories and their transporters can buy your product. If your price is competitive, new price selected. Okay, I probably should give you stuff then. The credit funds transferred. Sad. I thought you would make, Turbo you would have made some prof, uh, uh, profits. Uh, unfortunately, silicon isn't going well. Whenever I played this game before, silicon was like, like liquid, liquid gold. Hey, Waschbear, welcome. Glad you are here. Was just looking at. Uh, chins clouds and um, looking at our silicon mining operation here which is Hornet missile ready uh, yeah I didn't want to do that which is actually pretty pretty bad it's not going well but doesn't matter much I think where was the asteroid between the F and the E in the in the lower lower left corner right of the map I think that was our asteroid right there just in between these uh, these factories, these three, this triumvirate of, of uh, factories. Don't know if that's the right word, but it's fine. Uh, this should be computer stuff. Target now locked on. Computer plan alpha. Yeah, computer plan. Good. We have quantum tubes for you. Not with us, not in production yet, but soon. Um, Vashpa, you just missed my... Um, um, my maintenance route, let's say that, for the for the factories, for the new factories we, we got. What are you? Oh, just a, use, a useless loser. We didn't die once to the Xenon, that's Target pretty cool. At least not yet. We're not fighting the good stuff yet. Uh, just the, the losers, as you can see. Okay. Oh, another thing I found. I I complained about about the uh, very interesting, um, uh, as you can Target see, sway you have when you when you shoot. The recoil. That's the word I, I was looking for. Um, you don't have that with a mouse. It's it's interesting. I probably played with a mouse f forever in this game. Um, and you, there is no, Target there is not is that much sway, Th because it's pretty ridiculous. And I wish I could disable it, but nope, I can't. Just wanted to start a Rimworld ideology run. Yeah, I saw you bought that on Steam, but I can't press the next button after choosing one. Well, back to BattleTech then. Oh, that that sucks. Why not? Why can't you press the X button there? I actually asked for a key on Keymailer. Let's see if uh, if Tynan is is uh, as nice to me as I hope. 
It gives me one, and we will do a, uh, do a one too. But I don't know. Didn't want to buy it yet. Maybe I'm just waiting for it to come to sale or something. There it is. That's the asteroid we need. So I remembered right. And now I don't actually don't know how far this rocket can go. So we probably want to go a little bit further, uh, a little bit closer to it. Further? Closer, of course. Before we shoot. And then be prepared for some story, I hope. Don't know, well, it was not a random one. One I created to test at how it works, but well, at least I got a long-term artillery train in Battletech and it's awesome. Yeah, you told me. Uh, probably gonna play some Battletech too soon, but um, I have an itch for some Stellaris. I, I watched the Cold War, the, the Nemesis Cold War, I think last two days ago or something, or yesterday, yesterday and, and the day before or something, in the last two days. And it was so fun, so great. And so surprising, and I would, I would really like to do a campaign with my um, BattleTech-inspired uh, faction or, or species, species rather. But let's see what happens when we shoot this thing. There's the Hornet, which immediately uh, has, has texture problems. It's fine. Um, okay, and, and now it. It doesn't hold the material anymore. Do I have to f to shoot another? Asteroid. I hope not, because then I'm gonna cry about the wasted rockets, Asteroid. which we could still use. Oh, yes, I probably do. I probably do. Asteroid. Now, where is the thing? Oh. Asteroid. Oh, wait. Target now locked on. Aha, a data storage device. That's what we were looking for. Now, if I destroy this with my shields, I will cry, so Warning. let's be prepared. Shields are down. Don't know. Well, it was a random one when I created it. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna try and make a final log entry. Can't keep us stable much longer, Captain. Losing power in the stabilizers, Captain. Video feed up and running, Captain. Okay, comms. Let's go for it. I have no idea who or what's going to see this. But for what it's worth, this is the last ship's log completed by Earth Fleet Commander Nathan R. Gunn. As you can see, we're damaged and out of control. We're going to try and crash land on a planet our scanners detected that could sustain life, but it's far away. I've estimated we've just enough power to drive us towards this gravitational pull. Captain, stabilizer still losing power. Hold it as long as you can, damn it. <sighs> Not much longer. Anyway, we succeeded in tricking the terraformers to follow us through the jump gate. As soon as my fleet made the breakthrough, we turned and waited for them to appear. It didn't take long. We were still forming our battle position when they appeared. Before they had time to realize what was happening, we attacked. That seems to have got it, Captain. Try to hurry. I've no idea how long I can keep the signal. Okay, comms. You got it. We managed to destroy many of their ships, but there were so many of them. Wave after wave of them. Eventually, they began to wear us down. Soon, I had no choice. I ordered what remained of the fleet to turn and run. We split up, and the terraformers followed. We seemed to have outrun them. The downside is that all navigation systems are damaged. Better make that destroy, Captain! Stabilizer's almost gone, Captain. Just get us inside the gravitational pull. We'll go manual. Then turn off the engines and try to glide us to the surface. I've no idea where we are or what planet we're about to crash land on. I've no idea if the terraformers are behind us or already there. I've no idea if any other Earth ship survived. Stabilizer's holding, Captain! I hope our trick worked and Space Command managed to seal the Earth end of the jump gate. The bad news is that I failed to destroy the gate at this end. It's still intact. I only hope the terraformers never realize that. Losing power. 
losing signal again, Captain. Some time ago, we passed a bunch of asteroids. I'm putting this log into a sealed container and firing it off in a drone missile. It's aimed at the largest asteroid. When it makes contact, it should nicely embed itself into the rock. The container has a signal device and should be picked up by any of Earth's survivors. At least they'll know someone else is alive out here. Signal getting fine to Captain. Should anyone find this log, don't bother searching for us. We're light years away and we'll probably all be dead anyway. But if you are from Earth, for God's sake, make sure you get to the jump gate and disable it. I'm sorry, I cannot give navigational locations. The place should be easy to find, as there will be a lot of space debris around. Over a thousand ships were destroyed in that battle. The burnt out hulls will be floating over a wide area. Try looking where the debris is thickest. The jump gate should be a short distance behind us. Signal almost gone, Captain. Missile prepared and ready to launch, Captain. Hopefully the terraformers will never find the jump gate, but just in case, they... Okay. There was so much wrong with this video, it was amazing. <laughs> Just the the angle they fell into the atmosphere with was ridiculous. The sheer they they said stabilizers are holding, that yet yeah, they didn't. Uh, then you don't tumble into the atmosphere. Um probably the, the ship of this size wouldn't wouldn't survive the crash landing, but it's fine. Um and the other thing is we saw the lock we just saw, actually, being fired into the asteroid. How? And then the story continued. Never mind. It's, it's not important. It was a fun, fun nice little cutscene and it gave us some information. And the uh, by far most important That's information true. from that from that log was that the gate wasn't destroyed which means earth could still be in danger if the the xenon ever um find out about that okay i don't know where the freaking we gate is by split wolf yeah yeah shut up of course i have no illegal cargo well, I have the money now for illegal cargo, but illegal cargo is not worth it, so why would I? I can make millions and millions of credits just by not smuggling. Why would I smuggle? Pretty ridiculous. Now, okay, um, I think the next thing we have to do... Didn't even... Didn't even I don't even think we should... Uh, it should have been necessary to open our cargo bay. That's fine. But the next thing in Target the story, on. I think, fire. and and I have to have to stress that, uh, that a lot. I think is that we tell the Argon the Goners, the Goners sect, what we found. And I think I have read that it's it doesn't matter who you tell this to. Um, the Argon military or the Goners. Now locked on. Oh yeah, Split I want, wolf. I want to, I want to have some. Ah, yep, yeah, it's fine. I want to have some increase in reputation again. Um, so we will fly towards the Argon, which isn't that much of a trip. And I may be able to. Yeah, I, I will pause the recording. I will pause the recording in a second. There we go. And just somewhere somewhere near to the Argon, maybe Argon Prime or something, I will restart the recording again. And uh, so you will see in a second what happens when we talk to them. And then we will probably talk to the Goners and see what they tell us to do. Probably destroying the gate, I guess, or something. Um, let's see in a second. It works. Welcome back. We are in Heron's Nebula and about to uh, go into 
Argon Prime, where the Argon One hopefully resides. We will see. Because we have to talk to the Argon One. That's even in our log. Let's see here. Show logbook to Argon Destroyer, which is the Argon One. Which will be our main course of... Um, our, our main... Not person to talk to, but in a way... Our main contact, that's what I wanted to say. Our main contact to uh, to add, to increase the story or, or progress in the story. Increase the story. Target I'm talking nonsense today. It's lifter. ridiculous. Yeah, let's kill some some nice Xenon. Target now because we are on. just a trusted friend at the moment. Let's see if we can increase that by just killing five or six Xenon, which is not much. Target is now in firing range. There you go. Oh, two of those? Oh, wow. We will kill them in a second. Oh my god, the inaccuracy I've, I, I got here is so bad. That's fine. Now, where are the other two? Come on, you losers. Take some Target time to catch up. In range. If they don't try to or intend to kill you. Just shooting in small, very small bursts helps. And not getting hit by these idiots helps too. Don't think they can reach the freighter, so I don't need to um, just distract them. I really dislike the um, the recoil here. It's not even... If it would have been... Okay, that's fine. If it would have been a railgun, I would be fine with that, but not with this thing. It's just a laser. Shouldn't have that much recoil or any at all. Um, yes, and I want to see at... We're still a trusted friend. God damn it. We need to save. Did, did, did forget that. Let's save in Argon Prime. I hope the Argon One is there. It could have. Target it could be on. Gate that it's in a gone. very stupid sector. But let's see. We are very quick now, by the way. I didn't. I don't think if I mentioned uh, did, I, did I mention that we have ten engine tunings now uh, from former three or something. So we are very quick, Turbo engaged. which is a problem. Target I have to throttle on. down Pirate a ship. lot in combat. It's a pirate ship again, okay. Man, Argons, you have a lot... You have a lot of pirate problems. Guys, what's going on? It's ridiculous. Just coming here, we destroyed a, a big convoy of pirates. Just three in a row. Literally, in a row. Come on, die. Thanks. That's not a pirate. And there are some Xenon going around. No, this is not the Argon one. Darn, I don't know where it is then. I I think I could imagine where it is. I think it's in the lower right corner. Maybe. Could be in the upper right too. Target now locked on I'm not sure. I think it was in the lower right because in the later games it is there, I think the carrier, because that will be a very important military production and special production facility in the third one. Turbo engaged. Let's just go east then. There you go. And look for the Argon one, then go south. It's fine, we just look for it. The part has still some time in it. Could go over 30 minutes too. Because in this part, I want to talk to the Argon One and the Gona and confirm that it is the same. Target. What they say. Come on, I'm gonna murder you because I want a rank up. Target is now in firing range. And you did. Did. Thank you for your help with this invader. As a reward, you get 200 credits. 
You still trust a friend. I will be so happy, by the way, after we finally got weapons that are of longer range in another game, if we play it. There's another pirate, my god. Do not disturb me. It's like the Argon Federation is just swarmed by them. Maybe they just Target are pirates, all of them. That's their way of diplomacy. Just become a pirate in the Argon Federation. It's fine. Just don't pirate us. Or just get us some, some space fuel, you know? We need our booze. Defense headquarters. Okay. Turbo Probably not here, right? Oh, it is! There it is! Haha! <laughs> so it is this one. Great! So just east of Argon Prime, which is great. And it kinda looks like the this, this ship from Nathan Argon, just the, the front section is bigger. That's interesting. Doesn't have a spinning section, though. It wouldn't, wouldn't work um, in a great way, anyway. Having a spinning section in your ship that uh, that uh, creates some gravity for you. It's not the best way to do it. It's the only way we could, but it's not a good way. For several reasons. Come on, let me talk to you. You're on air, come on. Target now locked on, Argon 1. There it is. This is Argon Carrier 1. Contact established. I don't know why I'm talking to the pilot or something that looks like the pilot. Um, yeah, I need to show a very old log file to somebody aboard. I see. So you are the pilot the Secret Service wants to talk to. One moment, I'll put you through to someone else. You are the pilot claiming to be from the planet known as Earth. Uh, who are you? My operational name is Bandana. I ask the questions. Bandana, an important character in the story, I think. Why should I tell you? I represent the Argon Secret Service. And by the way, if you want to fly again, I'd suggest you answer my questions. With your spiky helmet, you look very ridiculous. Just want to say that, okay? Okay. Uh, maybe what's... what is it to you? We just might be on the same side. We are interested in the object you retrieve from inside the split space sector. Uh, what do you know about we it? I've monitored your every movement in this universe. Ever since you first met the Talad here, you have been the subject of the greatest scrutiny. So, couldn't you have just given me some sh some shields and money? <laughs> just just saying. Uh, so you know who I am? First, we suspected you may be a Xenon spy. But then, after Zenon your contact spy. with the Gonas, we became convinced that you really are who you claim to be. Mm-hmm. So someone finally believes me! Yay! After days in this hell! We do. We also need to know the coordinates for the ancient jump gate. Just like you. Uh, why should I care? Maybe because you don't want to see Earth destroyed. We have reports of a buildup of Xenon forces deep inside their own sectors. For some time, we believed that they were poised, ready to attack our own sectors. However, the existence of this jump gate changes things. How? They may know about the jump gate themselves. They might yeah, of course. It. They might have found it and are mending it, or have already mended it, and are now gathering to attack Earth through it. I mean, of course, that's how they came here, right? Or is this still something I'm missing from the story? Who are the Xenon? In order to answer your question, we will download some history of our race directly into your onboard computer. Please read it, and we will discuss matters further. Welcome to the Argon You have chosen to look at the entry for the Xenon. During the year 160, reports emerged of unidentified spaceships appearing on the outer edges of the Argon Federation. These reports increased until the year 210, when these unidentified ships began attacking and destroying Argon ships. In 214, an Argon ship survived an attack and the survivors reported the first positive sightings of their attackers, a race that became known as the Xenon. Between 214 and 225, these skirmishes escalated, culminating in the Xenon attack and destruction of the Antigon, a major Argon space station killing thousands. 
In retaliation for this attack, the Argon had no choice but to declare war on the Xenon. This war became known as the Xenon Conflict. And it's not Antigon, it's Antigone. The Argon Federation looked to their allies, the Pyramid, for help. But after much debate and discussion, in 230, the Emperor of the Pyramid finally refused to join the war, and relationships between the two races deteriorated. Between the years 230 and 255, the Xenon increased their attacks, and the Argon Federation lost battle after battle. Many space stations and colonies were lost, and the Xenon took more and more Argon territory. However, the tide turned around the year 255, when the Argon Space Fleet enjoyed a number of spectacular and daring victories. Slowly, sector by sector, they forced the Xenon back to their own frontiers and regained lost Argon territories. By 290, the Argon had succeeded in forcing the Xenon from all Argon Federation territories, and the attackers finally retreated back into deep space. In 300, an Argon deep space fleet was dispatched in an attempt to discover the Xenon home territories. In the year 323, whilst searching unknown deep space sectors, their exploration fleet came across a race called the Boron. In the intervening years, discoveries and explorations have led the Argon to the knowledge of the Xenon sector. Despite their defeat, the Xenon craft still appear in various space sectors. They are still very dangerous and shoot any other craft on site. That completes the requested entry in the Argonopedia. Pretty nice. Another big story drop. You now see how dangerous this enemy is, and what a threat they pose to both our races. We figure that you know the location of the jump gate. For all our safety, it is a secret better share. I understand the dangers. How can I help? The Argon government has authorized a plan to seek out the jump gate and determine whether the Xenon know of its existence. If they do, we must consider launching a surprise attack on their assembled fleet before they attack Earth through it. I must try to save Earth. Before we do anything, we need to know the status of the ancient jump gate. And only you hold the clue to where it can be found. We would be most pleased to work with you to achieve the same end. The destruction of the Xenon. So how how do we go about it? You continue to upgrade your ship. Get the best laser and shield technology you can get. You will need it. Then you will explore the Xenon territory to the east of the Argon Federation and seek the wrecks of Nathan Gunn's fleet. Once you find that, you will have found the lost jump gate. Come back here and report the position and status so we can plan a joint attack. Understood? Mm, understood. I will seek the gate and report. Talk to the pilot of the ship again and ask him for a support fighter. Maybe you can also contact the M1 carriers of other races and ask them for support ships too. With a little squad behind you, oh. exploring the Xenon territory will prove an easier task. I trust you will do your best. Bandana out. So that's how we can get support ships in here. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's just quickly get rid of these stupid Xenon. But yeah, great story part. I like it. Oh wow, those are two Target or three? Now locked on. Unknown Xenon ship. I love the visual thing here. The Just the zoom. Okay, I want the other ship first. Because the other Target I can kill with one shot. On. Unknown Xenon ship. Very nice. I want to talk to the Gona too in this part. This will be a big, big drop of story. I don't think that the Gonas will tell us different stuff, but still worth looking, I think. We could ask the... The Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. As a reward, you get 100 credits. No, don't hit the freighter. That's very important. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. As a reward, you get 1,000 credits. So, yeah. Antigone, the, the loss of the station, which I didn't remember, actually, that that Antigone Memorial in the, in the late, later games refers to that. But it's a very important event for the Argon. Target now locked on. Um, which is why they just named a sector Connection after that. After that event. And I forgot, actually. I, I did forget it. Interesting though. Okay. Good. We upgraded our ship already, so we could 
already go there. I want to try to get my fighter friend now. And then go towards the Gona. Where are you? Where's the ship again? I'm probably on the wrong side of the station right now. Uh, where did you go? It's in front of me. Good. I wasn't sure about that. Then we go to the, towards the Gona and in the next part we will invade the Xenon territories. Um, what does the log say by the way? Search shipwrecks in Xenon territory, contact carrier of other races. Well we could do that, that is optional though. They would give us um, more wingmen apparently. I thought they would come themselves with a with a destroyer but maybe later. Target now locked. Let's just get a wingman. I need support ships for a mission to Zenon territory. You are a trusted friend. We will help you out with an Argon Buster M4 ship. <laughs> wow, that thing will die so quickly. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we, probably only because we are an Argon trusted friend, and um, if we would be better, better friends, they would probably give us an M3. But that's fine, I just want to see how the Argon Buster will fare. It will probably not, not even be able to keep up with us, just because we are so quick. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it just has to follow us into the Xenon Sectors and take their attention Target away from us. Hopefully a bit. End. It still doesn't matter much, it's fine. I don't think we need them. We only need them uh, for the last mission, I would say. Target is now in firing range. Come on. Did Senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. As a reward, you get two hundred credit. Still just a trusted friend, man. Don't know what other ranks come after this one, but it's it's not the best rank yet. Not, not by far. Entry I think Argon Hero end. or something is the highest one. Turbo anyway. Engaged. It could, by the way, be that we still cannot finish the mission, in uh, the, the whole game in the end. I don't know if there is an end cutscene, but the last thing you have to do can take a long while. And it... Um, it may not work at all, because the, the the scripting is... Well, let's just say Egosoft is amazing at scripting. Um, apparently they don't show that much. But, you know. It's still a great game. Although it, it can be somewhat buggy. Um, if Try you... Now, there is on one known thing. Light home. Um, if you go into the Xenon sectors and destroy something before you are asked to do so, this story will bug and you will not be able to finish it. You will be able to go further, but the last part, I think, will be bugged. The very last, which is, uh, you have to follow the Argon 1 back to Argon Prime. Should take a while. Um, and that will be bugged. Target is now in firing range. I know, by the way, where the gate is, or I think I still know. So, in the next one, we will fly straight to this. Still trusted? Yeah, still trusted, friend. God damn it. Entering system, light home. But I'm enjoying this game. It's cool. I never, ever. Um, Target now come that far. Unknown Xenon ship. I think. I, I don't even know if I had the best lasers when I played this. Um, before. One of every kind. How nice. Just easy prey if I'm not too fast. Look at how fast we am. I, I can't get him. Just, just, we are too fast for our rudders. Okay, now we... Okay, we do this. Perfect. In this game, the sectors are... Um, are... 
very much um, on a plane. Every every of the stations is um, what's what's the word? It is just dotted around this this imaginary plane between the gates. That is, if you find one gate, you can find all the others because they are always on this plane. In the next following games, that will not be the case. Stations will will um, even be. Target now locked on. I think gate even be behind the gates, and it's it doesn't have to be a pirate station. Target now. And the sectors will get more and more chaotic in a way well chaotic is probably the wrong word it's more um the Target is now in firing range the noise they use uh, will increase on behalf of our president and senator entering system or belt it will not be noisier because uh, oh. It will not increase in noise because there's Double more engaged. stuff in them necessarily, but it will increase in noise in in the matter of placement, you know. Um, where are we? Orbel, perfect. Because we need to go west, and then the Gona Temple is there. And we can finish this very story-heavy part. I, I didn't remember the Encyclopedia of the Argons, and uh, it was very interesting, actually, to... To get a background of their story that they didn't know the Boron, Target but they did they did find the Xenon and were almost destroyed by them. And by exploring uh, against the Xenon, exploring and, and venturing out, no finding, uh, hoping to find Xenon territory, they actually fi found the Boron, which is cool. Target now locked on. Because they Eight are good southwest. friends with the Boron, I think, after Target that. Now locked on. After finding them. I mean, everyone is good friends with the Boron, apart from the Split, because Splits suck. They are like Curita in Battletech, they just suck. There's no other description available. Is now in firing range. Oh, come on, Target really? Now locked on. Entering just went through a second southwest. before it got hit. But I'll probably be able to hit it now. Where are you? You little git! And I apparently forgot that you were evil, you bastard. Come on, murder time. Is now in firing range. I hate this. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this. I hate that, that my lasers are so bad. Argon Hero! I think Hero is the best one. Is it? That would be amazing. Turbo Didn't even engaged. intend to be um, beloved by the by the Argon, but that's cool. Um, go, oh, Gona Temple, there it is. First, let's probably save in here, just in case, you never know. Because I'm Argon Hero, that's cool. I love that. The thing why I never let's play this, these games, really. I, I did a few parts on, on X3. I think Terran Conflict, I'm not sure. Uh, but the thing why I never let's played this is, um, or before, is uh, because it just takes so Target much time off screen. And I don't want to bore anyone. Just, it's just, you know. To local trading network is um, it is, it is not, not a game that is always just uh, fast paced fun. Turbo engaged. There's a lot of trading involved, a lot of planning and, and theory crafting. Although I really like the theory crafting and I um, enjoy to three. Oh, this is the wrong direction again. Uh, I enjoy the theory crafting with, pe with other people. Just thinking about where's the best placement for what station and stuff. Um, where's a good factory center where you can probably make a lot of profits. Um, it's fun to me, but you know. Unfortunately, I never had these people here, so... Um, or not many of them. Okay, let's talk to the Goners and see what they say. Welcome back, my son. Did you find the asteroid? Of course. Yes, I found Gun's log. Have a look at it. Maybe you should show this to the Argon Destroyer. Now they will have to believe you. That's all you say? Okay. Not... I just... 
You know, I just validated your belief and that's all you have to say. Maybe you should show that to the other guys. Well, we did. That's fine. So now we... Um, we went into another direction. We need to find the shipwrecks in Zenon territory to find the gate. And we could ask the carriers of the other races for more for more protection or for more help, but that is not that important to me. Don't want to go go and fly back all that way. So next part we will go into the Zenon sector uh, sectors and murder some Zenon. That would be nice. At least I'm gonna like that. I hope you will do uh, you will do too, and we will see each other again next time. Bye everyone.